All right, Shalom, 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 All right, before we get started, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakadash. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord, and He calls Jesus Christ. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and tell me this truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the full comes earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to his brother Kazapa. Let's come back with another quick lesson. Just a little improv too in the spirit. Our brothers are still able to get up, and, you know, and uh, we're coming in some very evil times. And even though time, uh, things are still going on in the planet, okay, uh, you know, you're still able to have your job. You're still be able to go to the gas station and afford gas. Uh, you still got food in the shelves uh, on, on the uh, on the aisles, okay? Things are actually going to get worse in the scriptures, and it tells, it tells you that, man. All right? On this earth, through the scriptures, things said is uh, talked about to be worse than we ever seen before. So we'll get that, bro. This is uh, <clears throat> Second Edges 16 and 21. Mm -hmm. Behold, victuals shall be sold cheap upon earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, victuals, things that you buy, are going to seem cheap. Okay, and to the to the degree things are still affordable right now. Okay, you know things are you know they're they're up a little bit, but they're still affordable. We're about to come into a time where no one is gonna be able to afford anything. Okay, all right, can we read? He says, "Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, mm -hmm. that they shall think themselves to be in good case. They shall think themselves to be in a good case. Everybody's gonna think like, well, we're living in good times. Things is cheap. I could buy this. I could buy that." You know, but it's going to deceive the average person, mainly here, especially here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Okay, you read it. It says, and, e and even then shall evils grow upon the earth. It says, even then shall what? Evils meaning bad times, even meaning time and ill meaning bad, shall grow upon the earth. Okay, so we're seeing the evils actually growing more and more upon this planet man okay you know and, and what are some of the evil times uh go to the second it's just fifth uh 15 uh start at verse five and we're gonna see what are some of the evil things that's gonna come upon this world that's gonna make it bad times man okay second major is 15 and five mm -hmm. and it says behold saith y'all bashim y'all shah I will bring plagues upon the world. He said, I will bring plagues upon the world. Now, when you look at the word plagues, it means afflictions, calamities, hard times. Okay. Basically going back to the word evil. Okay. All right. Even though what evil shall grow upon the earth. All right. Here are the things that are, are the bad times, the evils that are going to come. Keep on reading. It says the sword. It said the sword. Okay. Which is any instrument of destruction, any instrument that is able to destroy you. Okay. All right, have your spirit leave your body and have you go back to the spiritual realm. All right, that's the sword, mainly Esau, even the so-called white man. All right, which is the Lord's sword, because the Lord said what the wicked is his sword. All right, can you read it? Famine. It says famine, a, a lack of resources, okay? Because usually these brothers say, well, a lack of resources and bread and water, but that's resources, period, because gas is a resource, okay? Of course, food is a resource. But anything that you use on your day-to-day -day basis all right, that requires you to uh, keep on buying again, those are resources, okay? So there's gonna be a lack of resources, period, okay? You read it? Death. It says death, okay? Well, that could come in many different ways, okay? All right, death can come from many, many different ways, man. The Lord has infinite ways, all right, for you to die here, die out here, okay? But only those that, what? Don't trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the word because God in Jesus Christ will perish, okay? And this mainly talk to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? All right, you know, this is the bad times that we're coming into. You need to turn back, all right, to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim of All right, that's the Heavenly Father, the His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, okay? All right, and that's who you need to turn back to so you won't be caught up in these things. Keep on reading, bro. And destruction. And destruction. Now, when you also look into the word destruction, means the pulling down of things, pulling down the structure uh, of something, okay? All right? D meaning uh, uh, turning back. A uh, str uh, goes into structure. And shun means, you know, the T-I-O-N means the process of, okay? So the Lord is showing us the process of breaking this, down, this society down, 
all right, through economic means. That's why I see gas prices and food prices going up. All right, down to the moral compass of this place, America. Okay, the Lord is bringing these plagues upon uh, this this world. Okay, mainly this place, Babylon the Great. All right, we'll jump to verse fourteen because these are some more plagues. Second Nature's fifteen to fourteen. Mm -hmm. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. It says, Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. Okay, woe <clears throat> mean death and destruction. All right, let's talk about those that are on this planet. Especially those that are not that are of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. If you're not getting right with the God of the Bible, woe unto you. Okay, death and destruction unto you because you're not seeking after your your shielding, your buckler, your howl by Shemuel Shai. Okay, you're seeking after other things to be your uh your God. Matter of fact, he heard that broke. He get Isaiah uh what was it thirty one, I believe, where it says Wilton that go down to Egypt for help. Is that thirty one or thirty two? I think it's 31, all right? But yeah, yeah you know, Yahweh by Shemuel Shai said, warn to those that want to go down to another person for help instead of waiting on him, okay? But the elected nation of Israel, they're going to wait upon the Lord, okay? That's the difference between the two-thirds and the, and the elect, okay? You got it, bro? Yeah, this is Isaiah chapter 31, verse 1. Woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help. He said, woe to them that go down to Egypt. What's Egypt represent? Bondage. All right, because we was here in America in slavery. All right, so what to you that go down to your slave masters instead of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? All right, who's the slave master here in Babylon the Great, aka America? Sleazy E, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, okay? And you go down to them and their government for help instead of what? And it says, and stay on horses mm -hmm. and trust in chariots. You believe in everything in the power and might of this society, of, of this government. Can you read it? Because they are many mm -hmm. and in horsemen because they are very strong. Uh, this place looks like a strong guy. It looks like it has a strong military force. You know, just, you know, it looks like a good living, a good life here. Okay. Can you read it? It says, but they look not into the Holy One of Israel. They look not into the Holy One of Israel. All right. Yeah. How will Hashem Yahweh Shai? But the war ending calls God and Jesus Christ. Okay. You know, they don't look into the Lord for anything. They look into the government for everything because that's their God in these times, man. All right, but for the elected nation of Israel, their power is Yahweh Bashem Shai. That's the only ones the Lord will be part of that number we trust in, okay? The Lord said, woe unto those that don't trust in him, but trust in what? Their, bond, their captor, okay? Their uh, slave master. Can we read it? Neither seek Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Mm -hmm. they, they neither seek the Lord. Now it tells us in Amos to seek Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and ye shall live. Okay? But our people are not going to do these things. This is why the, that we just read that scripture in verse 14, 2 Ezra 15 and 14. All right? That woe unto the world and them that dwell therein. Okay? Because it's going to be woe unto those that don't want to get right with Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Now, bro, go back to 2 Ezra 15 and jump to verse 26 and 27. You know? Because look, it's, it's, getting, it's getting down to the wire. And the Lord's getting, has always been, but it's about it's even more in the spirit. The Lord's getting real specific, you know, hey, turn back. These type of things are going to come on the earth, okay? If you, and if you don't turn back, you get caught up in these things, okay? You know, this is why we talk to our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners, all right? To get right with Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, the word calls God in Jesus Christ. Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the word, and he calls Jesus Christ. Go ahead, bro. Second Nature is 15 and 26. Mm -hmm. For Yahweh Bashem Yahushai know of all them that sin against him. He said he knew of all them that sin against him. So the Lord knows all those that don't want to get right. All right. So you're not fool. No one's fooling anybody. Okay. All right. The Lord knows the effort that you're putting in to turn back unto him. Okay. So the Lord knows all them that sin against him. All those are not getting right with him. Okay. Not turning back. Not being humble. Are not seeking him. Okay, keep it reading. And therefore delivereth he them unto death and destruction. See, and just because of that, because you want to be hard-headed and stubborn and, and trust in this place, the Lord's going to hand you over, deliver you unto the death and destruction. Okay? All right? These are the times that we're living in, but our people don't see it. They're blind, as the scriptures say, man. Okay? You know? The Lord's will, we be a part of the elect. The Lord has opened, us our, opened our eyes to see Everything that's going on, Lord's will be a part of it that we make it out of here. 
Okay, can you read it? It says, for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth. Now we're on the plagues, okay? The death, the destruction, calamities, famine, okay? You know, the uh, 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 <clears throat> loss of children, all right? You eating your own flesh, martial law, you know, uh, no food, no baby formula. All these things are going to come upon the earth. And what's going to happen? It says, and you should remain in them. The Lord's going to have you marinate in it. You're going you're gonna to remain in that. You're going to have to suffer. Keep on reading. For the Most High shall not deliver you mm -hmm. because ye have sinned against him. The Lord is not going to deliver you because you sinned against him. Now, according to scriptures, what is sin according to the Bible? We'll get it. Just in the quick in the spirit. Can you get uh, uh, 1 John um, 3? You know, because what is sin according to the Bible? We're, we're going to let you know. Okay? Because Jake likes to act stupid. Okay? So you got to let, you know, and when we say Jake, we mean so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? Jacob, all right, whose name was later changed to Israel. Our people like to act stupid and oblivious. Okay? So you got to let them know everything. Okay? Can you re read that? 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Whosoever committed sin transgressive also the law. It said, who did, whoever committed sin transgressive also the law for what? For sin is the transgression of the law. For sin is or equals the transgression, all right, passing over the boundaries of the law, statute, commandments of the God of the Bible. Okay. And Lord said he knows all that that sin against them. Okay. And he's going to deliver you into death and destruction. And he's going to have you remain in it because you didn't want to turn back unto him. But you want to constantly, constantly, even though you're being reproved and rebuked, you want to constantly indulge in the wickedness of America. Okay. You know, so the Lord's going to have all these things be brought upon you. Okay. But unto the elect of the nation of Israel, the Lord said they're going to be good. Okay. They don't have nothing to worry about. The Lord is going to be on their side. The Lord's going to be part of that number. The brothers and a few sisters that listen also, all right? Hey, we have nothing to worry about, you know, because we have the Lord on our side. Well, two-thirds of our people, they, they're they not hearkening, so they're going to have to worry about everything that's to come, okay? You know? I'm going to end it off with uh, 2 Ezra 16, verse uh, 74, you know? Just to, on the flip side of everything we just said, all right, what we got look good, what we have uh, looking forward to, okay? By seeking after Yahweh by Shema Shai, being humble, being, you know, serving the Lord in sincerity and truth, you know, trying to please the Lord, and especially in these times, what is our reward at the end of the day? He, uh, second Edges 1674. Here, O ye my beloved. But the elect of the nation of Israel, keep reading. Said Yahweh Shem Yahushai, behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Everything we just talked about, that two thirds are gonna our people are gonna get caught up into, all right? But I will deliver you from the same. So, but means on the contrary to all that, the Lord says to the elect of the nation of Israel, I will deliver you from the same. Okay. So the same thing is coming down the pipeline, the evil days, the bad times, the Lord is going to deliver those, all right, of the elect of the nation of Israel. The Lord will be a part of the number. Those are the ones that are in the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Shai, being obedient, willing Okay, and obedient servants to Yahweh Bashim al Shai to the best of their ability. Okay, doing what the Lord commanded them to do ultimately in these times, having faith and trust in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Okay, you know, so you know, like scriptures say, with by their faith and by their works, you know, be able to escape the set perils to come. Okay, so hey, keep on, keep on trusting the Lord, keep on believing, you know, do what you can do to. To uh, you know, to have the Lord pleased in your Lord's will, we'd be a part of the elected nation of Israel. So, with that, you got anything else, bro? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Go ahead. Same old, same old. Luke twenty-one and thirty-six. Yep. This is a uh, Luke chapter twenty-one, verse thirty-six. Mm -hmm. It says, "Watch ye therefore, and pray always." It said, "Watch ye therefore, and pray always." And brother, like brother said, always say in the spirit. If you don't know how to watch or look for the signs. Watch the watchmen who are doing it for you, okay? The men of the Lord, starting off with apostles and elders, a great millstone, to the men on down like us. All right, can we read it? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that should come to pass. Right, they may be found worthy to escape all the things that are going to come to pass to destroy this place, okay? All right, can we read? 
And stand before the Son of Man. And stand before Lord Yahweh Shai when he returns, man. You want to be able to be beamed up in the chariots and be in the presence of Lord Yahweh Shai and not burn here in America while it's being destroyed. Okay? You know? That's what we want ultimately, you know? We want to be found worthy in the sight of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai with our works that we've done on here on the earth and our faith. Okay? All right? So hopefully this is edifying to the elected and nation of Israel. Before we close out, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Yahushai, Bashim I'd like to give double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the folk on this earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom. Shalom.